Good morning, what's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another episode of N11B Who's Be That's Me, okay? Um, it's Saturday. I'm currently uploading a vlog because I think I haven't posted for like two weeks. But whatever. Um <laughs> I am officially on paid time off for the next four weeks. And you know what sucks? My trip to Europe has been postponed because um there's like a family emergency with my friend, so I don't know when I'm going because she doesn't know, but um, yeah, so that sucks. But you know what this does? It allows me to finish the rest of my Halloween looks, okay? Because my flight was supposed to be on Tuesday and I was going to scramble finishing we're finishing all my um Halloween looks, but that's okay. So now I have time. Today, what's the plan for today? Um, I need to add, I need to put the details for this um vlog up. And then we're gonna go to the flower the plant store. Cause I need a planter. Um my car's in the shop finally. Finally getting fixed. Cause girl, those brakes are pissing me off. I've realized because I when I told my dad my brakes need to be replaced, right? He's like Okay, um, shop around for quotes or whatever. Cause usually I just tell him that the brakes need to be done. He's like, okay, I will take the car for the day and it will get done. But he was busy. So <laughs> he's like, shop around for quotes and then let them t uh, choose the, the best one. So the first one, they told me $1,900. I said, for some brakes? <laughs> I'm like, that doesn't sound right. I'm like, that doesn't sound right. But then they also told me that, girl, my brakes need to be replaced, my rotor need to be replaced, the brake sensor needs to be replaced. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so I've just been <laughs> driving this car anyhow, which is fine. But, um, <laughs> so I bring it in, so they go, like, do, I guess, like, a diagnostic in a sense. Girl, why are we out of focus? I'm in my bed. So we do a diagnost, they did a diagnostic in a sense, and... They said that my calipers are like done. So my brake pads are fine, but I'm still gonna, uh, I still got them replaced. Um, but the calipers are like done. So I was like, girl, how much is a fucking caliper? So I'm Googling it. That shit is expensive. I think that was the most expensive. Was it? No, it wasn't. I'm lying. No. I don't know. But um, they told me. Their quote was eighteen hundred dollars. So I was like, okay, how much is it if I? How much is it if you only do the labor? If I just get the parts, right? Because one thing about me, I don't believe in paying full price. That doesn't sound right. Why am I paying that much just for a break? Whatever, a break job. He's like, oh, it's gonna go down to um, four sixty one. I'm like, so you telling me I'm about to pay four hundred, <laughs> fourteen hundred dollars for some parts? Unrealistic. Absolutely not. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was scouring through the internet trying to find um, the correct parts finally did they came in on Thursday yeah so I dropped the car off for them on Friday today Saturday the car's not ready because I got the wrong part and then the part that I told them the part that they told me that I got wrong if I wanted to, to buy it from them it was $91. I said, "How? what's the part number? They gave me the part number. I googled the part number. Tell me why the fucking part is only $7 across the border. Oh my god. Mechanics are scam artists. Girl, I really can't see. This is terrible. I, um, I don't think I'm gonna have kids, y'all. Because this lady went legally blind. Just for, some, having some, just for having some children. We're gonna have to do surrogacy. <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm, I've been like seriously considering freezing my eggs because what do I look like going blind for some kids? That's crazy. They don't have to come like out of me. They could come out through a volunteer as long as they're like mine, you know, like girl, I don't have time. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I've been considering it. <laughs> like I've, I have like so many clinics saved on my phone <laughs> just in case. We might do it by the end of this year. Just have them there. Cause girl, that is insane. One lady lost her teeth. There's like this, um, there's like this, uh, there's this girl on TikTok. She has like a notes app. 
shared of like all the reasons as to why she's not having kids. And every single time I see a video, I'm like, girl, is it really worth it? Cause basically I'm already a pseudo mother. I'm already a pseudo mother. I raised a child. <laughs> I raised my baby brother. So <laughs> do I need to experience um, motherhood through the pregnancy? I don't think so. I don't really think so. You know what I mean? Cause like shit happened. Your stomach turned black. You lose your sight. You lose your teeth. What else happens? Your feet swell and I already wear size 10. So how big are my feet gonna get? Like, I don't have time. I don't have time. What else happens? Like my mom had the chicken pox while she was delivering me. You know how insane that sounds? You know how insane that is? I don't have time. I don't. What you mean you had the chicken pox while you're delivering a baby? And then everybody's telling you push, push. Girl, go to hell. Go to hell. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. They are not coming out of me. I am so sorry. I've already been thinking. I was like, since I was like 15, I was like, I'm, I might adopt. I might adopt. Like. I want to experience like one pregnancy. But like, what if that shit is traumatic? What if that shit is traumatic? And I am not this much of a pessimist, but girl, this is life or death to be honest with you. Like, I don't have time. I was like, okay, maybe I'll do like a home birth. But I was like, girl, I can't do pain. So I need to go to the hospital. But what if the hospital's fucked up? What if they're racist? What if they think I can take pain? I'm telling you right now, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I'm talking as if I have a baby on the way. Or I'm like I'm about to make a decision by next year. I'm not, but still, that is crazy. Wow. What is it focused on right now? I don't know. But this is my outfit. Y'all know it's full. So I wore this to work once and I just never wore it again. But I'm an outfit repeater, because what do I look like not wearing clothes that I buy? Crazy behavior, but anyways, the sweater is from Forever 21. Cargos are from Fashion Nova, and my boots, my combat boots, are from Marshalls. Okay, and then I am carrying a purse I got from AliExpress. It's only seven dollars. Seven dollars. It's great quality. Top tier. So um, yeah, so I just have like two cards in here on my phone and my car keys. That's it. And then the fragrance I'm wearing is the 1956 vintage, okay? And I think I might top it off with um, Atelier Cologne and Grand Neroli just for like a little bit of heaviness. Cause it's cool in the season, you know what I mean? But I'm not a fall, I'm not a fan of like the typical heavy fall scent. So like the woodsies and the, I don't know what else there is, but the woodsies, I'm not a fan of that. So I'm just gonna like mix and match. Maybe I'll just wear this by itself. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, let's go to the flower show.
All right, so I'm back in the car. Um, Y'all saw I got my plant pot and then we got some pastries. Okay, it was giving crumble cookies. So I got, um, what did I get? A s'mores cookie, a cereal and milk cookie. Y'all see the, I don't know if y'all can see it right here. And then I got a chocolate chip. And then I got an apple short, apple something. Oh, my stomach is empty, Lord. Wow. And I got um, an apple shortbread, I think it is. I don't know. We're going to test, uh, taste test these at home. And I got an apple juice to hold me over. And um, since I'm in the area, I was driving by and I saw that second chance furniture place where they do like, I think it's like whatever the stores, like the major brand stores don't sell. They sell it there. So we're going to go check it out. Ooh, we are, it is sunny. So it wasn't that great, to be honest with you. Yeah, I didn't really like it. <laughs> is this how I parked? Terrible. Thank you though. <laughs> Why did I park like that? Um, yeah, it wasn't that great at all, to be honest with you. It's very overhyped. They don't really got stuff there. Most stuff that I would like. Custom tiny homes. What else am I gonna do? Cause I'm out, so I might as well do something else. Hello, I'm home. Um, <laughs> I'm wearing like 40 pajamas right now, but we're gonna repot this bad boy cause as y'all can see, she's turning yellow. And I don't have any, I will have any explanation for when the kid comes back and wonders why the plant he got me died. So <laughs> I don't have time for that. Why is my brightness so high? There we go. Okay, so I have my gardening gloves on. Um, ooh. Why is it heavy? Ooh. Girl, I just realized I'm gonna have to carry this to put it on top of there, on top of the counter. I think that's enough for now. Yeah, it's much more deeper. A lot better. <laughs> Come on. Look at it. <laughs> How do I shake off the... So it wasn't really doing anything. I don't want to destroy the roots. But then how's all the soil going to come off? I think that's perfect right there. I'm gonna still use this soil. It's still good soil. It's just dry. But how is it dry and getting root rot at the same time? It made no fucking sense. <laughs> at least this has drainage. If I had rocks, I would have put some rocks at the bottom, but I ain't got any. Let me just shake it up a bit more, free up the roots. I don't know how to like do it without destroying the roots because it sounds like it's ripping when I do that. Is that still good? I don't think that's good for the plant, girl. I don't have time to explain myself to him. 
when he comes home for Christmas wondering why <laughs> the tree died. I don't have time. <laughs> Not big enough. Move. <clears throat> okay, so all the roots are covered now. She's a cute girl again. Now I just need to water her and then drain out. Oh shit! I gotta take off the sticker. <laughs> Totally forgot. Is that a bug? Oh. <laughs> Come on. No residue. I don't have time for that, even though I have like all the stuff I need to remove it. Why is that moving? Or am I just hallucinating? Because I don't deal with bugs. <laughs> I like that it's kind of off centered. Like, do y'all see that? A lot, that. A lot, that. Love, love, love. I got McDonald's, so I'm hungry. So we're gonna do a quick taste test of all the stuff I got, okay? So this is the chocolate chip, the chocolate chip um, cookie. This is the s'mores. Look at that. Put a focus on it, there we go. That's the s'mores. And then we got the cereal and milk. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Seriously? Let me see. Stop falling off. That's a cereal and milk. I'm starting to get mad. A cinnamon Toast Crunch. I like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm gonna take a bite out of each. And if I don't like it, give it to my dad. Let me. I brought the dining chair here. Okay. Oh, there's something in the middle. I like it. Mmm. Mmm. I like this. I'm not sure what's in the middle, but it tastes good. I've never tried crumble, even though people like be hype, hyping it up. Maybe I'll try it when I get to Texas. Do they have one in Buffalo? I don't think so. But um, I like this. I like this. Okay, I'm feeling it. I'm gonna save the shortbread for last. It looks promising, even though for me, when I eat like apple pastry stuff, I don't like soft apples. Is that weird? I don't know. Okay, but next I'm trying the s'mores. Again, this is it close up. If it'll focus on it, don't focus on me, focus on the cookie. No, you don't want to? Really? Whatever. Okay. Which side do I want to bite? You know what my mistake was? I keep getting cookies and cream and s'mores mixed. I don't like this. Like it's not bad, but I don't like it. Okay? Then we got Old Faithful chocolate chip. Again, this is what she's giving. It's kind of thick. No, no, it's not thick at all. The cereal and milk one is thick. <laughs> mine better 
like my white chocolate chip or just regular chocolate chip that I make, but I like it with brown butter. Like a brown butter chocolate chip cookie, sickening. Okay, so I'm gonna rank these. Six cereal and milk, top tier, I'm gonna finish that today. Um, <laughs> uh, out of 10, I would give it like a 8.9. Yeah, 8.9. And then the s'mores is in second place with like a six. Well, it's windy. <laughs> with like a six. And then I would just give this like a five. Like it's not bad. Like it's just like a regular chocolate chip cookie, but I like mine better. So, yeah. All right, let's try. Oh, it's cold. This is how it looks. Let me see if it'll focus. Focus on the thing. There we go. Look at that. I forgot what it was called. I'm pretty sure I have the receipt somewhere. I see the cinnamon. Maybe it's like apple pie shortbread. I can't remember. I can't remember, but let's try it. The apples are soft. That tastes good. Other than the apples being soft, tastes really good. It tastes like apple pie, but it's shortbread version. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So I ranked the cookies, now let's rank everything else together. So cereal milk, actually, I'm really a little, I'm really like this. I think it's this, the apple pie shortbread, cereal and milk, s'mores, then chocolate chip. Yep, definitely. I like this a lot. Mm. Yum. I like that. Well, that's the end of today's vlog. Um, I will see y'all tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow? I'm not sure. I ordered my candle making stuff. I don't know when it's coming in though. Because I didn't order it through a prime shipper. So I don't know when it's going to come in. Um, so I'll find something else to do for tomorrow. But yeah. Really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Okay. Bye.